Hello and welcome back again. Today we're gonna be cooking in the kitchen. It's brunch time and I've been craving this all week and I'm really excited to make it. So we're gonna make lemon lavender pancakes and we've got some sausages going on the hot griddle. Let's get right into it. I am going to have me a little bit of beer. Um, this is from Fillmore 13 Brewery in Pontiac, Michigan. I bought a little howler. Isn't it so cute? Aw. This is called, what is this? Old Town Alt, but I think it's supposed to be ale. Old Town Ale. Uh, it's really good. It won a lot of prestigious awards. I want to say it won a silver medal at the Beer Expo, and I will get those facts for certain and put all that down below in the description for you, as well as this recipe, but I'm not really going by any recipe. As you know from the last one, I just kind of look and glance and freestyle it myself. So, cheers, salut, Saturday mornings. Mm, that is so refreshing. Yeah, that's good. Items that you need for your lemon lavender pancakes. We have got buttermilk, pancake, and waffle mix. And before you judge me, I already know how to make the mix without this. Um, I think it's just flour, baking soda, water, and milk. But for the sake of this video, and to save time, we're gonna use the box version. Got our lemon, we'll zest that later. Culinary lavender. And you have to make for certain that it's culinary lavender because not all lavender plants are edible. I bought this at my local lavender farm here in Lansing, Michigan called 16 Sprigs. I will definitely link that for you below if you're interested. They have more than just culinary lavender. They've got cookies, bread, teas, um, sprays, lotions, the whole nine. All right, we mix one cup of the batter with two third cups of water. Well, we all know how that goes. You probably end up adding more water. And instead of water, I'm actually gonna use this Planet Oat Milk. Um, and it's already flavored to vanilla. Give it a little sweetness. Like that. Bloop. And then a two third cup, they said. Mm hmm. There's not much milk in here, so I might have to use water. There's oh no. Come on, give me a second one. gonna mix it up first. It looks like I'm gonna need more batter because it's not the consistency it should be. So now that it's at the consistency that I want it, I might still have to add to it water or batter. But now I'm gonna put in the lavender and the lemon zest. All right, so here is the, there we are, culinary lavender. I'm not exactly sure how much to put in here, but lavender is very, fragrant, so I'm not going to put a lot. Maybe like a tablespoon. You can already smell this before I open it. I'm going to go ahead and zest 
zest my lemon and also save some for after it's done. So there's the zest. We add that to it. vanilla extract. I usually like Madagascar vanilla but or vanilla beans. We use what we have and you really don't need a lot of this at all. Just like a couple drops. Like, boop, boop. And then I'm gonna mix this all over again. So I'm turning my burner on to medium heat and I usually put butter and this is just not any butter, it's a sweet corn butter from the farmer's market. So just that extra little touch. I also added some cinnamon to my batter mix. I forgot to tell you all that. Just a little bit. Might have to do a refill. Cheers again. All right. Burners on. All right, so as you can see, I've got my butter melting, and it's almost that time to go ahead and put in our pancake batter. So I'm gonna make maybe like a silver dollar amount. Well, that was past the silver dollar. So we'll start there. Usually you know you're ready to flip when you see some bubbles happening around the edges and the inside and then boop, boop. Um, you can already see the lavender poking through in there and I can smell the lavender and lemon which is really nice. I'm going to turn this up just a tad bit. I like to have a golden bottom on my pancakes and like crispy on the outside edges and um, fluffily, fluffily if that's a word on the inside. Ooh, and look, you can already tell. We're already, already bubbling up here, but I'm not gonna flip it quite yet. I want the corners to get a little more cooked before I flip. And then we also have our sausage links going on low heat. I like to slow cook those so they're nice and crispy. What do you guys usually cook for brunch? Is it pancakes, potatoes, omelets, eggs? Like, let me know in the comments below what you I think I'm ready to flip. I think. I like to get around the edges first before I really hook it up under there and do my flip. So, here we go. Getting under my spatula. Oh yeah, you can see the lavender right there. Oh yeah, first one. And you wanna do maybe like one or two minutes on each side, depending on how high or low your heat is. So our pancakes are done, the sausages are cooked. I'm about to plate everything and show you how fancy I get. Um, but a couple side notes, if you are buying a box mix, you know you can always make your own. It's pretty much just flour, baking soda, water, or milk if you want. Um, the box is a lie, okay? Six to seven pancakes, uh, definitely not that. And, but we already know that, right? You're always going to have to add more batter or more water or milk or what have you to get that consistency that you want. Um, so I'm going to show you how I plate everything and then it's bon appetit. But I still forgot I have this lottery ticket to scratch off. So let's see if I won big. For me to know and you to find out. Just gonna do some lemon zest around the plate. There's that one. And I already buttered the pancakes. It might not look like it from the video, but there's some butter on there. Pop it off. 
the little lavender. Oh, yeah, I guess the best part, save it for last. As always the moment of truth. Go ahead and fill myself up a little bit. It's not often. Let me chew my food because that's rude. It's not often that you get to order lavender lemon pancakes. I hope everyone has a great Saturday or whatever day it is when you view this video and stay tuned. I'll be back with another one. Bye.